If someone suggested that one of the best ways to explore the Australian outback was by bike, you might not be so sure, but in Western Australia's southwest, there's a series of off-road bike trails which does just that, bringing cyclists face to face with marsupials and cockatoos in stunning bush and woodlands. I met with Stuart for a day ride along one of the most famous, the Mundubidi, already being heralded as one of the world's greatest cycle tracks. Once you're here in the bush, it is just absolutely sensational. The South West Australian bush is just a magnificent place to actually be bushwalking, cycling or anything else. And it's sort of, it's a midway between, I suppose, backpacking and getting yourself a camper van and travelling around. I grew up in the bush just outside of Perth and riding up there on my uh, old road bike was just absolutely magnificent. And I can honestly say that once I did the Monday video trail, I was just hooked. It just took me straight back to my childhood and just being out here in amongst the bush is just sensational. An extensive network of trails takes you through this scenic landscape, discovering forests, lakes and beautiful vistas along the way. And there's no pressure. You can take the journey at a pace that suits your skill and experience. It's a very good spot to actually come down and do a day ride. You can start in and up, uh, go up the Timberline Trail, join back onto the Mundabee and then come back down again. So where are we at the moment? So we're just out of Nanup and we're in an area that was uh, heavily logged for Jarrah, probably about 50 years ago. And then where are we going on to later? Where we, uh, this trail takes us to the end, we join up with the Mundabidi Trail right. and then we'll go up to the top of the campsite where we'll be staying for the night. The area we're going through today is very typical of Yujara and Mary Forest. There's no big hills, it's all quite nice, uh, relatively flat, so very good for a novice to intermediate cyclists. How big is this conservation park? Because it seems absolutely huge. Yeah, this, this particular one is quite large. I, I couldn't tell you the exact size of it. It's just that there's so many of them through the southwest of WA and uh, pretty much most of it is all for conservation area these days. Mm -hmm. So these little places just, they're all over. In fact, Western Australia's southwest boasts 24 national parks alone. That means much of the land here is protected, so it's a perfect place to observe native plants and animals. The Mundabidi name actually comes from the local Noongar Aboriginal tribe, which is based up around Perth. Mundabidi means path through the forest, so it's actually quite apt to have that name for the trail because eventually it's going to be a path through the forest from Perth all the way through to Albany. Mountain biking is not the real term we like to use for the Mundabidi trail riding. It's actually off-road cycling and there actually is a big difference. Most people associate mountain biking with full-on downhill, you know, radical jumping, etc, etc. Whereas off-road cycling is much more sedate and to anyone who likes bushwalking but loves cycling, this is for them. While the majority of trails are well maintained with only gentle gradients, there are some more challenging moments, so it's worth planning your route to your ability. And there are many options for cycle hire in the area as well, so don't panic if you can't quite fit your bike into that suitcase. And we made it. We did. Hooray! <laughs> and now we have a well-earned cup of tea as well. And what's really sweet is the kangaroos have come out as my welcoming committee, which is certainly something that would never, ever happen on the return from a bike ride in the UK. 